this episode, I'll show you how to fine tune audio in Adobe Premiere Pro using subframe editing. Adorama TV presents Exploring Photography with Mark Wallace. Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Exploring Photography right here on Adorama TV, brought to you by Adorama. It's the camera store that has everything for photographers like you and me. You can check them out at adorama.com. Well, in this episode, we're gonna be talking about something that is awesome. It's called subframe editing, specifically subframe audio editing. Now, a few episodes ago, I made a video that showed you how to sync external audio to video. And a few keen observers noted that the markers that I made didn't align the audio exactly. Now, the reason for that is a limitation of shooting audio on video. Now, to explain this, let me sort of tell you how video works. Video normally shoots 30 frames per second. So 30 still pictures all put together to make a moving video. Now, audio doesn't do 30 audio samples per second. So when that still frame happens for a 30th of a second, there's audio that's still going on inside that frame. So think of it like this. If we slow down a clap, so here's a clap in normal motion. There it is, okay. We get to see that entire clap and we hear the sound, but maybe when my hands actually got together, that was inside of one of those still frames. So maybe my hands were like this, and then you heard the sound, and then the next frame my hands are like this. So you don't actually see where my hands hit, but our brains think we did because we hear the sound. Now if we slowed that way down, we did the exact same thing at maybe, let's say, two or four frames a second. Let's take a look. All right, so when we look at that, you can see that really slowed down. That the sound comes when my hands are open and then the next frame my hands are closed. So you don't actually see the clap, but we hear it because the audio is still moving inside the frame. Now to edit that audio, we need to go inside the frame or subframe and do some manipulations. Now to really get a grip on all this and how it works, we need to zip over to Premiere Pro CC 2014 and take a look. So let's do that right now. Hey, before we continue, I wanna remind you that Adorama has some awesome photography contests. It's absolutely free to participate and you can win some great prizes. So click the link and enter today. To properly understand subframe editing, subframe audio editing to be more accurate, we need to first understand the limitations of editing audio in Adobe Premiere CC 2014 or whatever version you have right now. Now this has been true for generations of nonlinear editors. It's nothing new with Premiere, but Premiere has some really nice features that help you fix these issues, but they're hidden. So we need to sort of understand those. All right, so let's first remember what we did. I clapped three times in an audio clip. We can hear that here. All right, and then what we did was we synced a clean audio clip with this dirty audio clip and got nice clean audio. Now we did that in a previous episode, so you can check that out. But the important thing is we have these three little markers here that we use to align our audio clips. And the truth is they aren't really accurate. Why not? Well, let's go in here and let's look at our audio waveform. And I'll try to zoom in as close as I can. Now, this little uh, line right here represents the entire frame, our video frame. So we've got 30 frames per second. Problem is, audio doesn't stop like video does. So video, uh, every 30th of a second, it's a still frame. Audio has got a lot more information, so it's still making uh, recording sound during that stopped frame of video. And so what we need to be able to do is get inside this frame to make changes to the audio so we can take out pops and glitches and align audio correctly. All right, so here's our frame. It's an entire one frame of video, but you can see that inside here, we've got audio that's doing all kinds of stuff. So how does that really impact us? Well, if we zip down here to our timeline, and by the way, if you don't see these waveforms on your timeline, make sure you click the wrench here and say, uh, show audio waveform. Make sure that's enabled so you can see this. Now, what we need to do here is we're gonna zoom in. And this is the very first point you're gonna see where Editing audio in Adobe Premiere normally is inadequate. So I'm gonna hit the plus button on my keyboard to zoom in as far as I possibly can. I'm zoomed all the way and I just really can't see what's going on here with this audio. I wanna see a nice big audio waveform that I can align things. But what we can see 
So if we look here, you can see this audio waveform where I clap here is not lined up exactly with this clap, but it's all inside the same frame. So if we just aligned things up and edited things by frame, well, our audio is going to be out of sync. In fact, I'll zoom out here. You can hear that this audio is out of sync. When I play these two tracks together, it's going to sound sort of like a flange effect or a Darth Vader effect. You can hear this weird thing going on. Listen to this. And that will allow me to sync the audio, and now you can hear, oh, it's so much better. Because I you hear that, how things sound like, it's like an echo or a stereo kind of weird effect? That's because these two tracks are just slightly out of sync, and so they're not lined up exactly. So how do we get in there and see stuff and really uh, edit this the audio the way that we really need to inside the frame so we can match this up exactly? Well, the first thing you need to understand is you can make this whole thing right here look much larger by hitting the tilde key. That's the little squiggly button that's next to the one on your keyboard. If you click that, you'll get, it fills the screen with your timeline and the other thing you can do is you can stretch these out to get a larger view. And you can take this center here, uh, not that, you can take the center uh, divider here, pull that up. So you can make these much larger so you can see what's going on a lot easier, but that's still not good enough. We still need to zoom in on this frame and see exactly what's going on there. We should see a lot more detail. Well, to do that, I'm going to go back to normal view by hitting the tilde button again. You would right click on the measurement here. So this is showing us frames. Right click on that, and we want to say show audio time units. Not frames, but audio time units. So I'll click on that. And then what we'll do here is on the uh, playhead position, if I right click on that, we can show either audio samples or milliseconds. I like saying audio samples, but if you want to edit this by milliseconds, go ahead. So you can choose that. So I'll just click that with audio samples. Now the thing that I can do, I'm going to start hitting the plus button on my keyboard. Look at that. Now I can go in and see a lot more detail in this audio waveform, and I can really start seeing things. So again, I'm going to hit the tilde button. Now you can really clearly see that these two things are out of sync. This waveform and this waveform are the same thing, but this guy here was recorded on a lavalier mic, so it's not as noisy. It doesn't have as much stuff going on. So what we really want to do is not align this by frame, which took up a bunch of space, but we want to align this up by our waveform. So what I'll have to do now is I can just drag this to the left, do, 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 do. keep going until we have these waveforms properly aligned. Now you can see that these are lined up very precisely because now I can uh, work with uh, waveforms at the millisecond format. So now let's hear if this is all lined up correctly. And that will allow me to sync the audio, and now you can hear, oh, it's so much better, because I'm able to. And you can see that, that we now have things that are, are working the way that we want, because we can go into the subframe and actually line things up. All right, one other thing that we can do here in subframe editing that is really, really useful. Let's say we have a pop or a clip or a glitch or something that's happened inside of our audio, but it's inside that frame. Well, we can go in, and I'll just choose something here. So here's a, a little audio here, and maybe I would want to work on that. If I went back here and put this into normal, let's go back and uh, show this unshow audio time unit. So now we just have normal uh, video units, normal frames. So I'll go over here to uh, where we set this up, zoom in. Maybe I wanted to take out just a little bit of audio inside this frame. Uh, using my pen tool. Well, I can't do that here, but if I go in and I right click and I say show audio time units, now I'm in subframe editing. I can really go in here. Maybe let's say I just want to take out just a little teeny chunk of something. Well, I can grab my pen tool. I can go in here to uh, my volume. Now I can start going in and I can just take out one little teeny tiny piece right there and it's highly accurate. So if you have maybe somebody that goes something like that and it's inside a frame and you want to get rid of that, you can just go in and take out that tiny little chunk of audio. It doesn't affect the entire frame. It's just a subframe of 1 30th of a second. It's very, very nice. Subframe editing can get you out of bind. 
It's awesome for aligning audio very, very precisely, and it's super easy to do. Just right click, show your audio timing units, and go for it. Well, subframe audio editing in Premiere or whatever nonlinear editor, editor that you use is going to really significantly increase the quality of your videos because you're going to be able to dive in, get out little pops and glitches and things like that inside the frame, and accurately line up audio with video if you're shooting on an external audio device. Well, thank you so much for joining me in this episode of Exploring Photography. Don't forget that you can subscribe to Adorama TV. It's absolutely free. So click the link and subscribe today. And don't forget about the Adorama Learning Center. There are just hundreds and hundreds of videos and articles about every conceivable thing about photography, shooting video, uh, street photography, audio recording, all kinds of stuff, product reviews, you name it. You can find it at the Learning Center and it's absolutely free. So check it out today. Thanks again for joining me and I will see you again next time. Do you want great looking prints at low cost? Be sure to visit our easy to use online printing service. Adorama Pix has professionals who treat your images with the utmost care that you can count on. For a quick turnaround on photos, cards, or albums, use adoramapix.com.